Hello, and welcome to the Creo Parametric demonstration. Now, let's take a look at Creo Parametric, specifically freestyle design, which takes a sketched freehand 2D image, here created in Creo Sketch, and converts it into a solid 3D model using the freestyle capability with Creo Parametric. So, let's go ahead and open up that design. Maybe you recognize our mirror sketch that we imported from Creo Sketch. Trace Sketch lets us bring in images in a variety of formats. I can then scale them appropriately while maintaining all aspect ratios to get the exact size I want. I can then position that image accordingly in 3D space. I will now add a sphere primitive as my initial shape and use the 3D copilot to adjust its position. You'll notice the control mesh that goes about the outside of the sphere and this is actually what we'll use to manipulate and modify the geometry. By selecting a face, I can extrude the sphere in multiple directions. We'll now continue to resize the object and adjust the mesh edges to match the outline of the sketch. These new capabilities within Creo Parametric enable faster and easier creation of complex freeform objects by manipulating the geometry as if it were a ball of clay. However, this ball of clay results in precise, high quality, curvature continuous, manufacturable surfaces. The indent of the mirror will now be added, followed by a few final touches. Other CAD tools do not have these capabilities in their base app, but with Creo 1.0, freestyle design capabilities are included in the Creo Parametric app, so you don't even have to leave your workspace. As you can see, with just the Copilot, you are able to create incredibly complex and accurate 3D models. Once the design is accepted, we can switch back to the assembly view and, as you may have guessed, the 3D model of the side mirror is already in place. Now, we'll hide the sketch and accept the changes. You'll see a number of appearance options in the drop-down menu where you can select the desired characteristics such as color, texture, reflections, etc but we're just going to add an appearance to represent the mirror. You've just seen the freestyle design capabilities that are included in Creo Parametric. Creo Parametric delivers the most powerful and flexible 3D parametric modeling capabilities. This new app leverages the rich technology and capabilities from Pro Engineer while adding unprecedented ease of use, new functionality, and design flexibility that is unmatched by competitive solutions. From the assembly model window, we're going to take a look at some combined views which are located at the bottom of the graphics window. Here we can quickly preview and access the desired states. Now, we want to assemble a new part model in the assembly. Notice we can use the search tool to quickly find it, and simply select two coordinate systems in the part model and the assembly model to create a coincident assembly constraint. Here, we're just defining the datum plane on which to sketch the new part. We'll sketch a circle on the plane to define the outer radius. And then we'll sketch a rectangle and a circle on the normal plane. We can then delete the appropriate segments that will leave us with a semicircle cap once we revolve the sketch about the defined center line. Here, you see the ability to easily delete unwanted segments. We quickly define a center line, and now we have the cap to our pump inlet. Let's open the newly created part to make the necessary modifications that will then carry over into the assembly. What we're going to do next is create another revolved feature that will be used for the pump inlet stem. Again, by defining the center line and axis of rotation, a simple rectangular sketch will result in the desired 3D geometry. From this rough sketch, we can manipulate the dimensions to fit specifications. The attached preview gives you a fully generated feature preview before you commit to finalizing the feature. This gives users full confidence that the feature they are creating will work exactly as they see it on the screen when they hit the middle mouse button or OK accepting the changes, and there we have our stem and cap. Now, both these parts are obviously hollowed out, so a quick shell operation takes care of that in just a few clicks. Now, let's select the sketch for the base and extrude it and resize it. 
You'll see now how easy it is to apply rounds and either enter a value or use the dragger to pull the round to the desired thickness. Let's pop back over to the assembly and we'll see that the changes we made to the part have been implemented automatically. Also, we have access to the sketch dimensions in this mode, making it much simpler and easier to make edits to your feature before finishing it. We can use Edit Feature command with Auto Regenerate to dynamically edit features and immediately see the impact of dimensional changes on the model geometry. We can drag section entities and see the models update automatically. Regenerating the part will update the assembly as well. A few final details include a lip sweep and slight round. Once these operations are finished, we'll pop out the embedded browser and navigate to our favorites folder where there is a user-defined feature that contains a corner hole configuration. By dragging the feature onto the part, we are met with a window that allows for user-defined placement of the hole. As we select the four affected surfaces, the corner hole is put in place. Now, we'll quickly do the same for the opposite corner. Switching back to the assembly window, the alterations we've made have immediately carried over. Let's now demonstrate the Creo Flexible Modeling Extension, FMX, which is a new extension for Creo Parametric. This extension gives our parametric modeling users the opportunity to use direct modeling style edits and workflows, but in the context of their parametric models. These edits and workflows are actually displayed in the model tree, and are resolved as real parametric features and are regenerated just like any of the other parametric features. With Creo FMX, your design intent is preserved when edits are made. Let's look at this hood hinge assembly. You will immediately notice the easy selection of geometry, including surfaces and shapes, and how quickly we can edit these selected entities. This hinge now needs to be fitted to the hood. We will quickly control select the surfaces that will be manipulated and selecting the move operation brings up our 3D dragger. Notice the dynamic preview capability with which we can change the geometry with incredible accuracy without ever losing our starting point. In addition to the dynamic reshaping, the placement operation allows us to snap an edge or surface into perfect alignment with the selection. Next, you'll see how quickly the whole shape is shelled and a few unwanted remaining entities removed. The speed with which any solid can be transformed like this, while retaining design intent, is unmatched by competitors. Let's single out the hinge for some last second editing. Starting by selecting just a single edge, we are able to round every feature of the hinge in just a few clicks. The Creo Flexible Modeling Extension gives you unprecedented flexibility for your 3D design process. This has been a Creo demonstration. Thank you for watching. We appreciate your time.